Welcome, everyone, and thanks for joining us today. You're listening to WBTVN Women on TV, and I'm your host, Shavon. I am so excited about my guest today, so let me tell you just a little bit about him. Scott Ware is the publisher and editor of Radiant Magazine, SoCal's largest independent wellness and spiritual magazine for conscious people. Radiance Magazine can be found in over 400 high-vibrating places like yoga and meditation studios, health food stores, holistic and wellness centers, healthy restaurants, and more. So help me to welcome Scott. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so, you know, I want people to get to know you a little bit, and we're going to talk about the magazine and and what your, your your vision was and your mission was for you know putting this uh, amazing magazine together and really changing a lot of lives because of uh, uh, the purpose that you've actually you know given to it. So tell us a little bit about growing up. How did you get from there to where you are? What was your you know home life like? Sure. All of that. Well, like a lot of people who are, are into wellness or spirituality, um, they may have had a religious upbringing. I did. I was raised Catholic. And um, I wouldn't say I'm a recovering Catholic. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say I'm a recovering Catholic anymore. I used to joke about that. But it, it's fine. It's just, it's just not for me right now. But I respect a lot of, of, what, of what is there. Uh, there are some core principles and whatnot that um, I still bring into my life. Um, but I, I always knew there was something more. I always knew there was more to life than the than the five senses would tell us. Uh, there was more. I was getting evidence of other things in my life, and um, so I've always been creative. Uh, I have a background in theater. I was a, um, a playwright and a theater director. But about a year ago, I wanted to start a spiritual magazine. Uh, it, it just called to me, and uh, I smartly Googled in, in Orange County, Southern California, where I live, any other spiritual magazines out there, and there was one that was uh, dominant at Radiance Magazine. It just so happened uh, they were about to close it. In fact, they did close it for about a week because the spiritual center it was attached to was closing. I picked it up, and it was only at 60 or 70 locations back then. It's now at over 400 yeah. Um, wellness centers, holistic healing centers, um, doctor's offices, uh, juice bars even. Yeah. And what it is, what Radiance Magazine is, is it's, it's, it's about mind, body, and soul connection. It's about achieving a balance in life that is more than just, it's when you figure out there's more to life than, than just moving towards pleasure and moving away from pain. Um, more than just chasing a paycheck, having a job you don't like, or, or having a situation in your life you don't like and just thinking you need to remain stuck there. Yeah, right. There, right? So, yeah, sure. yeah. and, and, it, and it, it runs the gamut. I mean, some people talk about, you know, it goes from woo-woo to wellness. Um, on the wellness side, it, that's a very popular buzzword. We... Um, you know, it's just something that uh, we need to make sure that, I'm sorry, something happened. Um, we want to make sure that we're being tended to. If we go to the doctor, there's something wrong. Um, are they just going to ask about the symptoms of, of that particular thing? Or are they going to ask about everything? How are you? What's your stress level? What's giving you stress? Do you have anxiety? Are you sleeping? What do you eat? They have a protocol is what you're really saying. To be able to take a look at everything and to to make sure that whatever they're going to prescribe is going to be, you know, specific to you. Exactly. Customized for you. Um, so, but they got to know you. So you want, we encourage people to have practitioners in their life that uh, ask all those questions, mm. that, that do care about all those things. And so that's, so that's the wellness side. Then the woo-woo side is more what we jokingly refer to as far as spirituality. Um, some people believe maybe there's, there's a God, there's a source in the universe that, uh, or, or there's energy in the universe that we can work with, that we know when we're in a good vibration, good things happen to us, just to simplify a lot of the things we, we, we've heard. Absolutely. And uh, so a lot of the articles cover that as well. And they're written by people in the Southern California community who are, who are leaders 
in uh, whether they're holistic healers, spiritual practitioners, intuitive life coaches. Um, it's just in every magazine that comes out every two months is full of that kind of information from those kinds of people. And my role is just to, to get it out there, to uh, fine tune the message so that it's impactful. So that when you read uh, an article or an interview with someone, uh, chances are, if, if it resonates with you and you've gotten to the end of the article, you're going to want to engage with them, go to their website and check them out, pick up the phone and call them and make an appointment to see them. Um, sometimes people just need a little nudge. They need a little bit more information about what's available, and that's what Radiance is. Whether it's sitting in the corner of the yoga studio over there or it's in the rack at the, at the high vibrating coffee bar or meditation center, uh, try to make this readily available as possible. And for people who see this around the country, around the world, they can find it at radiancemagazine.org. I recommend you give it a try. Find me on Facebook, because uh, that's a whole other adventure, what I do with the practitioners that I like to, uh, to catalog on there. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I love the message that you have. And is it digital also? It is, absolutely. I wanted, uh, I wanted to talk about that because, you know, how we, you know, look at magazines and, um, and we're not reading a whole lot anymore. Uh, yeah. Because they, we do videos because people, Absolutely. you know, people want to be able to press a, a button and just listen to it. And Absolutely. Multi-tax tax at the same time, like, like with their phone or something else. So they're getting two things done in, in, at once. Um, I agree. You know, and, and it's, it's interesting because the, uh, and I, I just did an interview yesterday, uh, Monday, with Don Miguel Ruiz Jr., mm -hmm. the son of Don Miguel Ruiz, who wrote The Four Agreements. Now, uh, Don Miguel Ruiz has two sons who are titans in their own right, uh, in the spiritual community, have written books with their father and on their own. And, uh, and yeah, but I posted that on, on, on Facebook and on the Radiant Facebook page, and It'll be on the, the website as well, and it got a lot of hits. A lot of people love this guy, Don Miguel Ruiz Jr. Right. So video is very important, so I'm going to be incorporating that as well. Now, what's interesting about a magazine in the yoga studio, in the meditation place, in the health food store, in the health food restaurant, the vegetarian place or, where, or whole foods, wherever you like to eat, it's going to be found at places where – People are more self-aware. Right. Uh, they're conscious people, and I want it there physically. There is something about holding up the physical magazine, a physical. I was say, yeah. That's when the current issue. Amazing. And there's something about it. You keep it around. It sits around. You can loan, give it to a friend. Um, print is is very much alive, particularly in in certain niches, and this niche is, is very popular. The magazine. I'm always out of the magazines. And uh, every issue, we're growing by a thousand issues that are going out. Um, so if people still like it and they want to feel it, hold it in their hands, they want to, <laughs> I'll be honest, I was told, I don't know if you've ever made a vision board, but people love the magazine for their vision boards. Oh, yes. <laughs> They're cutting it up because the, oh, yeah. the phrases resonate with them, the inspirational pictures, the inspirational art. And I'd like to think the magazine just vibrates with, with goodness and, and, and possibility. Well, and I also think, and you talk about it too, is that, you know, when you're, you're looking at something that's healthy like that, and, you, you know, I've been in health and wellness for a long time, so mm -hmm. you, you got me caught right away, you know, on really wanting to, you know, to, to subscribe to it and, and really look at the articles and, and everything in it. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing of it is, is that, um, and the wellness side, there's so many things to cover in that. I mean, nutrition and exercise, the mental and emotional um, uh, things that we go through that you right. know sometimes keep us back and sometimes propel us forward, depending upon how we actually think. Sure. And so I think that all of those things, and the biggest thing about that, you just if you can just imagine yourself kind of like sitting there with this in your hands and reading it and just concentrating and focusing you know, on that, just think that what that does be really for you as far as stress is concerned. I'd like to think it is a form of stress relief, absolutely. And, and 
you know, this is a women's network, and one of the reasons I'm glad to be on here, it seems 80, 85 percent of the readers of Radiance are women, and it's interesting because I am seeing more men come in, though, come into the, the spiritual events, the holistic events, and, and that's great, and a lot of women like to hear that, too. They, um, they like to hear, in fact, there was a couple issues ago, uh, there was an article in there called How to Find and Date a Conscious Man. Okay. And, uh, and then the next... Yeah, you were yeah. starting to be, you know, almost being like this, you know, um, dating, you know, kind of connecting, I'll, I'll put it that way. Sure. Um, and all of those great things that come out of that. So tell me a little bit about that, because that's one of the questions that I was going to ask you. Okay. Well, it's interesting because... Um, I happened to hear a, a massage therapist talking about that, and um, much in the magazine is because the magazine is free, so it's uh, paid advertising and articles. But occasion, you know, I do uh, commission some articles, and I heard her talk about that. I said, "Why don't you write about that? Would you mind?" So she did, and, and she had a great voice, and she talked about the importance um, when looking uh, for and, and dating a conscious man. Um, is one of the great points that she makes is. Uh, we need to open up and expand our view of what a conscious, self-aware person is. It doesn't look the same in everyone. Um, sometimes we could say, well, he likes to golf, and we might have some opinions about that, but actually it, some people golf because they like being in nature, they like exercise, and they like the camaraderie of their, of their friends, and there's a spiritual element to that that they might not call it that, we use sometimes different words, different phrases, but, but there's something profound going on there. Um, she also talked in the article about uh, that, that it's easy many times to get into a place where, and especially if you're spiritual, you don't want to be judgmental, but that's a trap some people fall into. We, we, it's happened to all of us where we'll say, well, I feel this way because they don't seem to. I'm on a different level than that. Right. And, and yeah, so... Um, I think we need to be compassionate. Everyone's on their own journey. And um, as long as we are being ourselves, giving one of the big messages of the magazine is everything we need, we have inside of us to give ourselves. Absolutely. There's nothing we need from any someone outside of us. Ex so external validation or anything like that. Right. If we're looking for that, we're going to be hurting. We're going to be suffering because it's not going to come the way we want it to. I mean, we many of us have learned that in life. Um, it is nice to have a partner in life who wants to do a lot of the same things, share a lot of the same things. Um, we just need to make sure we're in the place we need to be first. Then we'll attract the right person. Right. Even though we, if no one wants to wait, they want it now. But guess what? Well, maybe right now where you're at is going to attract something that you're not, uh, isn't going to be for the long haul. So I, I like to talk about those issues in the magazine. In fact, in the, in the issue right after that, I had a conscious couple that I admire write how to be a conscious couple. And, and that was a great magazine, a great ish, uh, article. Um, just getting in, inside their relationship, how they communicate with each other. One of the things, we, we hear a lot of talk about the sacred feminine. And, and, uh, and I'm all, I love the sacred feminine. I, I feature a lot of art in there that, that well, honors. You, talk and about, you also talk about the interview that you actually did with the uh, priestess of uh, uh, Godness. Um, and, um, and so tell us about that because what Absolutely. you're talking about is the sacred, you know, feminine that you found from her. And Absolutely. Yeah. So in, in Orange County, by Orange County Airport, there is something called the Goddess Temple. And it's, it's um, it, in fact, it just changed its name, uh, I believe, maybe late last year to uh, Museum of Woman. Yeah. Okay. So it's an actual museum. It's on the registry. People are coming from all over the world to, to see okay. the exhibits there. And it honors the sacred feminine. It's a place that, um, you know, in a world that may not honor the, the sacred feminine. This, this place does. It, it's holding a space for it. They have different services. Um, many of them are, are co-ed, uh, and some of them are just for uh, women where they're honoring the womb. And 
And I interview the presiding priestess of the of Museum of Woman. Her name is Ava Park. And uh, part one of that interview is in this issue, and the next part will come out in the uh, May-June issue. And I've learned a lot from her. I've learned a lot uh, about what women have had to endure, um, how the femininity can be erased. I know, but think about how lucky we are, because I really do feel that this is, you know, our time. Women, you know, are uniting together uh, for Absolutely. all reasons, and um, and they're playing better in the sand together. Yeah, it's been shown that women are are better leaders. I mean, there's there's less strife, less conflict, less war. Um, just gotta, uh, we're and we're moving that direction. Many countries are now being run by women. Uh, there's more legislators. A lot of people running for office in this 2018 election year in America. Um, and but the idea is this, and and Ava Park will say this herself. It's it's not about the su supremacy of the sacred feminine it's about the balance of the sacred masculine with the sacred feminine is really what we need in the world right. and it's nice to know that someone like her at that place is holding space for the sacred feminine uh because there's a lot of uh forces that aren't for that um but honoring that balance in all of us, which we both have both parts in us, is what's really important. And in fact, in my interview, oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, what I wanted to say though, is that what I love about what you're saying is that we're, we're talking about coming, you know, coming into to realizing that there is a lot of power, a lot of, um, that through women, and that they are able to exercise that. Absolutely. But not, but not, but not mm -hmm. at the extreme of pushing, you know, um, males to the curb. That's not what this is about. This is Correct. about finding a balance and, you know, supporting uh, men equally. Exactly. Women should be, you know, uh, equally supported. And when we can find that kind of balance that you're talking about, where we share and we bring couples together to have a better life together because they understand that yes. one is not more powerful than the other, that they bring both things that are needed to be able to make a relationship work, uh, to make this world work yeah. more than we, anything else. We, we need each other. And whether those masculine energies and feminine energies, wherever they're found in whatever person to whatever degree, we need each other, and and that's why when I was interviewing Don Miguel Ruiz Jr. the other day, one of the questions I asked him is, because he seemed like a very uh, balanced man. Uh, he's a loving husband and, and father, and who's willing to admit when he's wrong, yeah. maybe even ask directions. It's I don't know. All of us, whether you're male or female, <laughs> you know. Exactly, and and I. And I asked him, what is his idea of what it is to be a, a man these days? What it is to be a good man? And he, he gave a good answer. And at first he said, well, it's about being a good person. Of course. And then, yeah. And then he went on and, and expanded uh, from there. And, and, and the message was to be self-aware enough. And it's really self-awareness. It's awareness of our weaknesses as well as our strengths um, or of the areas where we're challenged. Uh, not necessarily weak. I mean, and also even just watching our language, right? The things that we say, how we refer to ourselves and other people. Um, just having that kind of awareness is the beginning. I, I'm going to put together a book of essays from people like him and others about what it is to be a man today, a balanced man. And uh, in fact, I got the inspiration from him uh, on that a couple days ago. So I, I think we don't have the conversation out there for this. We have just, you know, commercials for, for prescriptions with the disclaimers, very long disclaimers, you know. <laughs> we don't have this kind of conversation very much. So my goal is to bring it out, bring it out from the underground from uh, and, and make it mainstream because it's important. It's important to the world. It's important to the quality of our lives. Exactly. No, no question about it. And it would actually be interesting to see the side of a woman writing. Um, something which I may do for you. I'll think about that. I mean, I write and I'm, a, I'm, I'm an author, so. Uh, but, Absolutely. Um, so, you know, the perspective from 
from that side on what we think a real man is too. Yes. It's, you know. You know, until you said that, I, I had it in my mind because I hadn't fully thought it through. I was just thinking, yeah, I would ask a bunch of men. But yeah, why not? Of course I should ask women. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, definitely. And you know, it's interesting because I think that moms would have, you know, if they've had children and they've had a son, you know, what do they want their, 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 their child to grow up to? And what kind of man would they, you know, consider him being a man? Um, Absolutely. What would those, what would those, what would that look like? What would be the words that they would use? Well, let me ask you that question. What would, <laughs> what would you like to see in, in, uh, in men today? I think that what I would like to see in men, I'll tell you one of the things that I'm loving seeing in men is the uh, cooperation and collaboration that they have with their wives in helping to raise these children. Yes. They're very much involved in their lives and, and in their activities and, um, and taking responsibility for bringing this life you know, into this world. Yes. So I think that that kind of starts where I would begin is giving praise to really what has taken place. Because I, I see that with my, you know, I have three kids. I definitely see that with my son, um, you know, giving. And my goodness, he's, these kids are just everything to him. Yeah. And, and, uh, and my daughters, their kids are just absolutely everything to them too. And mm -hmm. so seeing the, the, the um, contribution mm -hmm. that the males make in that, those families yeah. just makes my heart sing and Absolutely. so i'd start with that but i think that you know i think it's someone who is not always right on either side sure. i think it's someone that can can learn if they don't know it but some way to be able to sit down and to talk things out with being able to control the emotional side of what they're you know going through or giving it time so that they can come, take five minutes or 10 minutes, take a day, take whatever it takes. But don't sit down and try to have a conversation that you feel that you're right on. Right. The other side feels that they're right too. And, right. Um, and they really need to come together and listen to each other because we learn so much by that. I can't tell you how many times I've thought something a certain way and then I hear my kids say something and I'm like, really? You know, have been thinking, have been thinking this way. So I think it's coming together and respect. That would be another thing that I really put in there. That it's not power; it's about giving in and being loving. And loving someone more than you love yourself is a real tough thing to get to. Yeah, and yeah. men, many people need to learn about themselves. They need to know thyself. Yeah. In yeah. order to be able to give. Yeah. And and to give respect. To give, and, and not just as because they think, oh, this is what I should do, but it should come from the heart. And so more conversations about learning about ourselves, I think, is important. More encouragement to take classes, take yeah. workshops. Oh, and keep, keep growing, keep moving, keep, you know, as human mm -hmm. beings, there's two things that we're meant to do. That's connect with others and move. So. Yeah. Get off of the, the sofa or, you know, your, your phone and, um, and, and go and see, out, go out there and go to classes and do things and see what people are talking about and be a part of that. Make a difference is really what I say. I want to thank you so much for being on the show today. And once uh, again, I want to give you a website. So it's radiancemagazine.org. It is. Uh, and come in and they can come in and uh, learn more about you and the magazine and see the magazine. It's a free magazine, so you're missing something if you're just not, you know, uh, looking at it and seeing all the great things that Scott's uh, bringing uh, in there, too. And find me on Facebook, Scott Ware. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got some fun things going on on my, on my page there as well with the practitioners. Oh, great. That's great. So hopefully you'll come back again. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. This is a joy. Oh, it's my joy, too. And I want to thank our, our listeners for coming and joining us today. Once again, you're listening to Women on TV, and I'm Shay Vaughn, and I will see you again next week. Take care and be healthy.